Good afternoon, guys. This is Mike Sosa with Above and Beyond Patio Covers. We are in the city of Covina Hills. <clears throat> we just completed this project today. Um, we should have a final inspection uh, in the next few days. And so what you're looking at is a 16 by 48 roof mount insulated. It's the Elite Wood product, Four Seasons Elite Wood. I've got the roof mount. We have three uh, probably 60 inch Minka air fans. Roof mount on tile. This is what we specialize in. I feel like we've done a couple hundred of these just on top with this tile. And so we have six brackets in here. You're going to see a header beam here with steel inside of it. And then we've got a bracket there. It's painted brown to match the beam. So you can't really tell. Another one here and here. So we've got that steel going across. And then we have channel wrapped around that chimney there. See, we wrapped around that chimney, but we're not, a lot of the strength isn't coming from wrapping around the chimney. It's coming from that roof mount beam lift, right? We bolt into there and then we come across and then we attach into here. So there's not that much st structural grabbing that chimney in there. There's not a lot of strength that's up in these upper beams. And so the chimney's about in the middle and on the other side, we have another beam with steel in it uh, for that other side. I love these fans. I mean, just makes such a, there's no lights on them. It's really simple. The patio cover, if I zoom out, does not have any post lights, any spotlights. It's uh, very clean, very modern. The customer wanted half of it lattice and half of it solid, and they wanted to go to the Eve. So um, they were pretty set on that. And I came in here and spent a lot of time with them. I'm not that tall. I'm maybe 5'8", but if I can reach the top of the gutter here, are you kidding me? If we put a patio cover there coming out, that ceiling fan you're looking at would be <laughs> hanging here on the table. It just, it didn't make sense. So I had to educate them, show them a lot of photos, a lot of videos of why we want to do this roof mount. Now I was able to get it 114 inches high versus 80 something. That's nine and a half feet, not quite at 10, but we're at least nine and a half feet there. So it made a huge difference. Then they weren't sure how far they wanted to go. They wanted to stop, you know, maybe inside this window, this door, and then they maybe wanted to go outside that door. I just kind of kept pushing it on them. Then she wanted maybe just a little bit lattice out there. Again, um, for what? Um, she just told me five minutes ago that she is glad that we didn't do that and have any lattice in there. Now, they have a big family, so when they're entertaining, I mean, look how much room they have. There's a beautiful tree back here when they're having their family over. Look how much room they have, 48 feet. I mean, it's so huge. You can put an outdoor sitting area here with a carpet and, uh, you know, a rug, a sitting area. You can have a table uh, with a little fire feature coming out of it. Over here, you can have the dining area. You can barbecue in here, put a smoker. When it rains, you will not get water on you because of these rain gutters, so that should catch all of that water. We do have a GFI outlet here, weather resistant, tamper resistant, a couple dimmer switches inside of here, a switch for the ceiling fan, everything runs up, everything's to code. Uh, we didn't really have this pink paint, so we, we painted it the best we could, which was an almond. Huge difference. I'm gonna step out in the back and focus on, from the rear, difference there look at all that shade that they have um 16 by 44 roof mount insulated on tile on a lower one-story house done by above and beyond patio covers this is what we specialize in this exact thing that you're looking at it now they could have removed um, a couple of these posts and we could have did massive footings massive footings massive footings double header double steel and we could have got rid of that they weren't too concerned about it they just said you know let's Let's save the money. I'm okay with this many posts. Um, so we went that route. I think we, I don't know if I could have gotten away with three posts. Depends what my engineering shows. My name is Mike Sosa. We are above and beyond patio covers. Our phone number is 626-484-0788. Uh, if you'd like an appointment, that's the number that you want to call. You can check out all of our work on YouTube, Instagram, Yelp, at Above and Beyond Patio Covers. 
Thank you kindly for checking this out. We really appreciate you. Have a positive day, and we are grateful for any opportunity to build a beautiful patio cover and or just to come give an estimate to someone to help them uh, find out if we can get something that makes sense. Thank you kindly. Bye-bye.